G'day, Steve from OffTheGridNoz.com again. Middle of the afternoon, so if you can see out there, it's pretty warm. It's only about 34, but it's pretty warm. Um, yesterday I made a little video on how much power do you need off the grid in Australia. Kerry suggested that I probably wasn't quite clear enough in my summation. Now, that just means that where I constantly went on about the three kilowatt that we use, I wasn't very clear on perhaps how we use that three kilowatt. I constantly harp on how people use their energy and that that is the key. I'm panning around, I'm sitting on the bridge, I'm being slack, it's in the shade. It's about 34 out there, like I said. But yeah, look, how we use our energy, I'll, I'll put it in a nutshell. I could put fancy pictures up and graphics and bits and pieces, but at the end of the day, I mean, if you're new to this sort of caper, you only need to hear it. I'm sure you're not going to copy and paste off an image that I put up in fancy graphics. So listen, what we do is we've got 3 kilowatt primarily in the 240 system. The 240 system will run, we have a rules of thumb. The fridges, we run two fridges, not one, two, one small fridge and one big fridge. They run permanently. They're what we would call, goes without saying, they just run permanently. They're primary resources that have to be kept up. On top of that we run, because we're, we have NBN here, which runs permanently. We have a high speed wireless NBN. We Wi-Fi to the TVs in the kitchen and the TV in the flat and the one in the house. And we have two computers that pretty much run all the time. From first thing in the morning till 12 o'clock at night, two computers, again, they're in the same category as the fridge. They pretty much run all the time. We have other things that we take for granted, so to speak, and that is the lighting. As I've explained many times, the lighting is on a separate 12 volt, very small, very, very cheap, very low cost. I don't like using the word cheap, low cost system. So pretty much we have the fridges and the computers as our foregone conclusion. They run all the time, night and day, regardless of weather, regardless of anything, battery storage levels, whatever. On top of that, we have the gas guzzlers, what I call the gas guzzlers. We have, the, as I have mentioned, and I'm going to mention it again, we do run, or Kerry runs a, a big KitchenAid mixer, which I think the damn thing uses about 1,200 watts. It doesn't affect the system during daylight hours, so she can use that without thinking, really. In summer, we have the Evap Cooler, runs about 500 watts. So that of cooler, the computers and the fridge still will enable Kerry to walk around the kitchen and put on her mixer without a thought, without a thought. The mixer is only one of the gas guzzlers in the kitchen. We have a microwave that chews about a thousand watts. Again, if it's only a small, you know, short use or even if you wanted to use it for an hour, it doesn't matter. During the day, as long as I'm not running a, a 2000 watt power saw outside or something, uh, those kitchen appliances, the the KitchenAid, the microwave, Kerry runs bag sealers, the electric bag sealers for vac vacuuming food, their vacuum pack sealing machines. Um, she also runs a dehydrator, which is uh, 600 odd watts. All of those fit alongside all of the daily use items that run constantly, but we don't. And this is to do with what we do with our three kilowatt. We don't assume that we can run all of those items. Kerry wouldn't put on the mixer and the bag sealer and the microwave and the dehydrator without at least asking me. Those items all will run within three kilowatt, but not if I'm outside and I happen to be using power elsewhere. The VAP cooler is only 600 or 450 watts actually, not 600, it's 450 watts. It's not a biggie, we turn that on regardless. So we live pretty much normal, normal with the air conditioning we've got, which is really effective. So yeah, look, the, the bottom line, Kerry's calling me, would you believe? But I'm going to ignore her. Look, the bottom line is that you can have three kilowatt 
and use it sparingly. What by sparingly I mean you have your little list of what runs all the time in the back of your mind and you have all the list of the other items that can run with other items in conjunction or with just a little bit of common sense you turn around and you you look at what you're running at any particular moment in time to make sure you don't exceed that three kilowatt we pull in 80 amps 80 amps now 80 amps charges our batteries pretty quick so during the day we can push right up to that three kilowatt mark with appliance use and whilst the sun's out the batteries don't go down one bit people don't probably the new people don't probably understand that I'll qualify this again to for the people who have got the bottomless checkbook. I mean, if you can afford a 5 kilowatt or 10 kilowatt, you know, that's all very well. Anything I'm saying now is probably irrelevant and you probably should turn this video off. But if you're new, you, you should be made very aware that you don't need to spend, and this is the point of my how much power do you need videos, you don't need to spend a vast amount of money on a huge system. Because most of the time, most of us don't run all of these gas guzzling appliances all at once. So we don't go without anything. We have, we have a washing machine, a normal everyday washing machine. We're the vacuum cleaner, normal everyday vacuum cleaner runs, guts is about 1200 watts. But with the that cooling running, the computer's running, the fridge running, we can run the vacuum cleaner without a thought. As long as I'm not outside running a 2000 watt power source. So you've got to get the drift as to how we do the math. The math is something that you learn to live with. You learn to use your power wisely, and that's the key to it, and that's the, what I've harped on about the most. Use your power wisely. Know what you're using, know when you're using it, and know the state of your supply. So that's all I wanted to say was to clarify that so that people don't go well there's no way you can run all of my appliances on 3000 watts now, 3 kilowatts is a lot of power but yes if you're a and I'm going to be brutal here if you're a fucking idiot and you want to run a vacuum cleaner your vap cooler the mixer and the dehydrator and your microwave and maybe run an electric oven if you're a knucklehead well, obviously three kilowatt ain't gonna cut the mustard so I hope you have 20 30 40 50 grand to put a 10 kilowatt system in all right and that's the point I really need to make you this is my videos are directed more at the people who are new to this that haven't got a bottomless pit I work for plenty of people with bottomless pits of you know, money in their checkbook they don't give a shit right they they just want to turn their stuff on I've recently done, I mean, I do stuff like rebuild houses from end to end, plumbing, electrical, the whole bit, off-grid houses. And I run into people who just don't give a damn. They need a 5 kilowatt system with 2,000 amp hour batteries so they can run five splitties. I'd like to take the splitties and hit them, hit them over the head with it. I mean, they're just, they're just normal people, smart people, that have got a lot of money, and they just don't care. So they're the people that this video is not directed to. If you are new, you really need to have it made clear before some sales rep comes in, into your life. Might be from an inquiry online, and that sales rep goes, you need 5 kilowatts, and it's going to cost you 25000 Well, grab him by the throat if you're big enough, and put him out the door, or send him a very polite email reply, and go, no, we have our power sorted out. We don't need 5 kilowatt, and we don't need 2,000 amp hour batteries. All right, it's how you use it. The appliances all can be run. We go without nothing, and we do not run generators anymore. We've been through the generator stage. We do not do that anymore. And it only took three kilowatt and a used set of 1,000 amp hour batteries. That's all it took to bring our lives back into what you would call, I call it luxury. You've heard me use the term. I call it luxury. It's because we don't have to think about things that we do anyway today's been a warm one we actually got some shade cloth up over there yes we're still working on the outdoor hydroponic area 
it's a bit of a mess I've just I haven't actually cleaned up yet but yeah we're working on um, getting this humongous it's a wraparound three-sided hydroponic setup so I'm going back to that and hope you have a good day and I hope this clarifies what I may have not made quite clear in the last one it's a lovely day I hope you see all this panning around very nice. There's a few kangaroos over there before. Anyway, this is Steve from OffTheGridNoz.com. If you've got any questions about this, you know, don't put them in comments. I mean, we really haven't got the time for that. You're quite free to give me a message off any of the systems, whether it be from our website, by email. You can send us a message on Facebook. Kerry's got a Facebook up about this. If you really need an answer to something you know, fairly simple, I'm more than happy to give it to you. But as long as you don't call me and or send me a message saying, I can't run my 4,000 watt hair dryer because that won't fit. Well, I'm just going to basically tell you to go and take a holiday in Bali and go back and live in the suburbs, all right? 4,000 watt hair dryers and shit like that. I mean, I get a lot of knuckleheads. We, were all, we all run into a lot of knuckleheads that just really won't stop and think. This, this video, like all of our videos, are for people who are prepared to stop and think, prepared to stop and listen, and take some advice, and maybe save some money along the way. So, let's see you later from Stephen off the grid, noz.com again. And I now have to go and find out what Kerry wanted. I don't know what she wanted. I tried to take five seconds off sitting on the bridge to make a video during work hours, and there you go. Steve, where are you? <laughs> i got to change my name. So feel free to subscribe down below, like us if you want to, drop into the website at offthegridnoz.com. But until next video, I hope you um, sort your power out and the little bit of information that I impart is of some use to you. Think about how you use your power. That's all it is. If you're not prepared to think about how you use it, my video is a waste of time to you. You probably are going to buy a 10 kilowatt system or something ridiculous and run your, 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 your arc welder off it. I run arc welders and things off mine, but not with everything else running. All right, so have a good day. Nearly the end of February. We're looking forward to getting our firewood stores up, getting ready for winter. I've got four wood stoves, as you've seen me as I've run around the, run around the house. We have four wood heaters not all run at once but we do need to keep our firewood supply up and we're just about at that stage of the year so you have a good day and i'll get back to you no doubt with another video on another topic that's about it for as much solar as you need to live in australia three kilowatt is what we use we have one kilowatt of 12 volt just runs the lights as i've mentioned but primarily three kilowatt run everything that normal people well the unfortunate normal people who live in the burbs with their 240 appliances we run all those same appliances here we haven't had to compromise anywhere all right we just have to think about when we're using it when we want to use it and we use it in conjunction with perhaps lack of use of another one we'll put vacuum cleaning off until we're finished what we're doing with the power saw but as long as you know the math behind your system, and if you've bought it with hard-earned cash, I assure you, like us, you will look at your system and you'll want to know how much it copes with and what, it, how, what you do and how it affects it. That's the key. You need to know your system. And once you know your 3 kilowatt system, you'd be absolutely amazed at what it does. Anyway, I've said see you later, so that's it. Subscribe, like, drop into the website more than happy to answer your questions have a good day and i'm out of here to go back to doing some more shade cloth in our hydroponics area so cheers from now bye